Okay, six formers, I'm just gonna show you how to um, uh, do some floating points. And what we're gonna look at is how do we um, take a negative uh, denary number and turn it into a, a, a floating point. So first of all, um, you'll notice that I've got an eight bit mantissa and a four bit exponent. So the first thing we need to do is we need to turn this into fixed points. The first thing I must do is put a zero down. Now initially I'm going to ignore the fact it's a negative number. I'm just going to write down two and three eighths. So that's going to be zero, one, zero. That gives me the two. And then in order to get um, three eighths, so I need a half quarter and eighth. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write out um, the three in uh, binary. So um, you know this one is your half, you got your quarter and you got your eighth and my uh, numerator is three. So if I write a three out in binary starting at uh, the eighth there on the denominator, that will give me the right answer. I then need to pad this out with eight bits. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's my fixed point. So step one is convert to fixed point. Okay, now, um, biggest, biggest, biggest thing to remember is big tip, and I'm just gonna draw that out as a separate shape, why not? Uh, remember, always start with zero. Okay, can't stress that enough. Now, because it's a negative number, okay, I need to choose complement it. So for me, when I choose complement, I always start on the right hand side, okay? And what I do is I find where I've got my first one. Okay, so you can see here, I've got my first one right there in the third bit. I then, the remaining bits, I will flip. Okay, so that becomes zero and a one. I've got my full stop there, then one, zero, and a one. So the second step, step two, is apply two's complement. Now you only apply two's complement if, and this is really important, only apply two's complement if the number is zero. Uh, sorry, if the number is negative. I'm saying zero. If the number is negative. If you apply two's complement to a positive number, you're gonna get a negative number each time, so that's gonna be incorrect, isn't it? Okay? So step three is that I have to normalize it. Now, in order to normalize, I need to make this either um, one point something or zero point something. So in this case, it's gonna be one point. So I'm gonna move my decimal point to here. And I've moved my decimal point once, twice. So my exponent is gonna be two. So step three is normalize. And once I've done step three, I will have my final answer, okay? So those are the steps you go through. So let's have a look at doing a different number. So this time I'm going to do uh, one and uh, one sixteenth, okay? So I'm gonna just delete these binary values, but I'm gonna follow the same steps, okay? So let's just get rid of these, and I'm gonna follow the same steps. So, step one, convert to fixed point. Well, notice my tip, always start with a zero. Boom, I'm gonna start with my zero, okay? Now, if I start with a one, immediately, no matter what I put next, I've got a negative number. So there's a really good reason why you always start with a zero. So I need a one, point, and I need a sixteenth, so that's a half, quarter, an eighth, sixteenth. I've got eight bits, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now I've converted it into fixed points. Step two applies two complements. Well, no, I'm not going to do this complement because it's a positive number, okay? So this is optional. We don't do it unless we have to. Then step three, I need to normalize. Well, the decimal point is just in the wrong place, okay? So it needs to move one step. So it's gonna be zero, one, 0 0.1, sorry, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay, so if move one step to the left, so that's going to be 0, 0, um, 0, 0, 0, 1. So it's move 1. So my final answer is there.
So that is how we convert. Last example I'm going to do is going to be a completely different number. So this time I'm going to do a much harder one and we're going to do negative, um, let's say, I don't know, uh, 15 over 32. Okay, so that's what I'm going to start off with. Now, first of all, um, you'll notice straight away it's a negative number. So my step two is not optional now because I have to do it. So let's start off right at the fixed point. Well, I've got nothing before my decimal point. That's why I'm going to start my zero point. I've then got 15 over 32. Well, 15 in binary is all the ones, isn't it? Okay. So if you imagine, I've got my half, quarter, eight, 16, 32. So that's my 32 there. And I'm going to replace this with uh, the binary 15. So I'm going to get rid of these four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So now I've got uh, a quarter plus an eighth plus um, a sixteenth plus a thirty tooth. Okay. And that is 15 thirty tooths. Okay. If you want to see if I'm right or not, feel free to test it. But my little trick, okay, I'm just going to put my little trick at the bottom. Um, I don't know how useful this will be in the exam, but I like it. Okay. So, little trick. Write out the numerator in binary. Then, starting at the denominator, write it out. Okay, so notice the denominator was 32, so that's why I started writing out my 15 starting at the denominator. Okay, so now I've got a supply two complements. Uh, just got to make sure this eight bits. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I'm now going to apply to my two complements. So copy to my first one. Then flip the bits. Okay, and I'm left with that. Okay, so you can see I've copied to my first one. And that's been flipped, that's been flipped, that's been flipped, that's been flipped, that's been flipped. Now I've got normalized. Now notice I'm starting with 1.1. Okay, I'm not allowed to do that. So actually, my decimal point's got to go to the right this time. So it's going to give me 1.0000100. And I've just got to pad out with the extra zero. Okay. So notice it, it's got a bit funky because I've effectively kind of got like this almost. But, but when it starts with more than one one, I effectively ignore those additional ones. Okay. It's like padding in um, when I pad with zeros, it doesn't change the number in any way, shape, or form. Um, when I've got a negative two's complement number, padding with ones gives me the same number. Okay, so that's now normalized. Now I move my decimal point one place to the right, therefore um, it's a negative exponent, so that's why I've got that. So next hint, I'm going to place the put hints, put it here. Um, big hint, if it is a number smaller than one, then you will have a negative exponent. Okay, that's a really big tip because it helps you know whether this part should be negative. One of the biggest gotchas I see is matching with this first question where two's complements applied to the uh, number itself but also to the exponent which obviously would be wrong. Okay, so those are the three styles of questions you might get. A negative number, a normal number, or a really small negative number. You could get a really small positive number as well, but hopefully you can work out that fourth one yourself. So to kind of um, give you one last uh, bit of an exam tip. So imagine I've got a kind of almost like a quadrant. So I'm just gonna add another line like that. And in this quadrant, you're gonna have a positive mantissa and a positive um, exponent, and that's going to give you a large positive number. In this quadrant, imagine I've got a positive mantissa but a negative exponent, and that's going to be a small positive number. And small, I mean less than one. 
Okay. Then we've got this quadrant over here, which is going to be negative mantissa and a negative exponent. So it's going to be a small negative number. And then finally on this side, we're going to have a negative mantissa, but positive exponent. So it's going to be a larger negative number. Okay. So that's just four things that I like to remember to make sure the answer I produce is correct or not. So hopefully that has been helpful.